Hey guys, uh, welcome to MD's Robotronics. Uh, this is a video to show you how uh, to build your own robot. So we have been seeing a lot of videos around uh, the robot controller M1 board. So this is basically a, a computer, I can say, or a motherboard with a processor on it for uh, any of your uh, robotic projects. So this can be treated as a universal controller for your uh, robotic projects and uh, other peripherals that you'll see, uh, you'll get to know them uh, once we start off. So today I'm gonna show you how uh, to build a robot platform along with the electronics. Uh, this would be a very simple uh, platform uh, to say that uh, this will not consist any sensors. Apart from that, it, it just has a controller on it with uh, several different motors and uh, the required battery. So that this will be a, a robot which can uh, move around places uh, once programmed. Or instructed by the project. for any robot that we need to build first thing that we need to build is the platform so once we have the platform ready we can have all the accessories and the sensors uh, to go to mount to be mounted on the processor and uh, following uh, following that we can uh, do anything so uh, this is a video to show you uh, how to build uh, the very basic uh, robotic platform I'll also talk about uh, different kinds of platform that you can build or different kind of material that you can use uh, to build your own platform. So uh, let me just start off with uh, the components or the items that are lying around on my table. So to start off uh, any robotic project, uh, for a robot to move around, uh, we need uh, wheels. So here uh, we have uh, two set of wheels and uh, uh, note, note that uh, these wheels have a special shaft or a groove where a special type of shaft fits in. So this is not a circular shaft, rather uh, this is a different uh, type of a shaft you see it's circular and it's flat around the other two sides so we'll be using these uh, motors and uh, these two wheels to move the robot around places so these are uh, DC uh, geared motors so uh, it's basically a 200 rpm uh, motor so these motors can run uh, uh, with any voltage from 2 volts to 12 3 volts to 12 volts so it's about the motors and other things that you see is uh, uh, two different connectors so we'll be mounting these connectors onto these uh, motors and uh, we'll use these connectors to uh, connect the motors to uh, the robot controller board and uh, this connector you see uh, this connector with this basically is that this uh, end of the connector fits into the robot controller board and the other end of the connector snaps onto the battery in this way so this can be uh, any type of uh, connector and uh, going forward, uh, there's a robot controller M on this. And uh, here we have uh, a battery pack. This is a nickel metal hydride uh, battery pack. So this has uh, six batteries, which uh, will power uh, about uh, 7.2 volts uh, from this battery pack. And apart from that, we have uh, two metal uh, uh, construction kit uh, metal pieces. I have built uh, something like this. You see. Uh, this is bent towards inwards and the upper end is bent towards uh, upwards so that's how uh, uh, that's it's been prepared out of uh, these two connectors so keeping that uh, aside we also need some uh, bolts to screw uh, these motors to uh, uh, the robot platform and uh, we also have a caster wheel which is, which is a, nothing but a omnidirectional wheel so th there's just a ball caster which uh, moves in all possible directions and uh, apart from that we have a plier we have a double sided gum tape and we also have a screwdriver which will all be used and a blade uh, which will all be used uh, to do rest of the process so let's uh, keep all these things aside and see uh, step by step how uh, to build the robotic platform using the things uh, on my table uh, so guys as a first step uh, we need to prepare our uh, motors uh, by uh, soldering uh, or connecting uh, these two wires onto these uh, uh, connecting pins that you see. So let's uh, just do that.
back and then the The chassis almost uh, complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount uh, the wheels. The wheels will be mounted uh, this way. So what you need to notice here is that again these sockets will fit in the motors appropriately, and then we need to uh, screw it up. So I'm gonna use a uh, different uh, screwdriver for that. So these flat ones, flat ones won't work. Now uh, that's really tight and your uh, robot chassis is uh, almost uh, complete. So the chassis itself is complete. Now what, just find an appropriate position to uh, stick your uh, microcontroller board. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep uh, the board on the top and the battery at the bottom, whichever uh, works out fine for you. So you should, uh, whichever works out fine, you should uh, do that. So I don't find enough uh, space to keep uh, the battery at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this space to connect. Uh, I can even place my uh, battery pack like this. So that's a good position and uh, my, my motor driver circuit will go that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some uh, sticky tape. properly you can 
make use of another one so i'm just gonna push it a bit behind or i can even uh, keep the motor driver as such so that my usb is uh, still accessible okay there you see i have uh, mounted my robot controller board and i'm gonna plug in my uh, motors so there you see i have my motor one and the motor two so both of them are in place and uh, yeah there you have uh, the connections almost done so final connection is to connect uh, the battery uh, together so I'm gonna use the battery connector here so again uh, the same thing if you find uh, the wires are to be uh, bothering you you can uh, just push down uh, the connector uh, to the bottom of the board and you can use it from the other end so make sure you don't uh, move around the battery connector um battery connector a lot so that you know there you see i have just uh, just pulled uh, the battery connector that way i'm just gonna snap connector in place okay there you see now uh, we are almost done with the connections and our robot is ready. Uh, let's see uh, how uh, this robot moves. I, I do have a program inbuilt but I'm not sure what is the program. So there you see the robot uh, simply moves around. There's not much traction on uh, the wheels of the robot. Uh, 